Hey, what are you doing? I'm checking my body shape. Body shape? What is that? Oh, you have these different types of body, right? Apple body and pear body shape and rectangle body shape. So what do you think? What body shape am I? Oh, let me think. You are more like a Imli or Tamarind shape. Imli? Tamarind? Are you mad or wait? There is nothing called Tamarind. <laughs> right, absolutely. There is no such body type as Tamarind. But lot many people do not know their body types. What about you? Do you know what is your body type? Welcome to Fashionably Speaking, where I help you conquer the seemingly daunting fashion challenges through some super easy steps and practices, ensuring you are always prepared with a fresh look right on time. Hey there, fabulous fashionistas. This is Kuheli, your fashion buddy, and I'm here with you to help you in every step of a fashion fabulous journey. Today, I'm going to talk about different body types. That reminds me, in a fancy dress competition once, I was dressed as a celery stock. Yes, you heard that right. A stock of celery. Now, let me tell you, celery doesn't come in exactly one size fits all. And neither do our bodies. But isn't that the beauty of it? Our bodies are as unique as our sense of humor. And today, we are diving deep into the world of fashion for every body type. We all know that there are five major categories. The pear, apple, strawberry, hourglass and rectangle. But do you know that there are more categorization to it? There is a diamond, lean column, full hourglass neat hourglass but that can be so confusing you must be wondering now where do you fit in those of you who already know about your body type then you are sorted but those of you who do not for them let's discuss and describe each type the pear shape when your bust is small and hips are broad with a defined waist then you are a pear shape how does the pear look the top part is smaller, it is curvy, as it goes down, it becomes broader. But then some of you must be thinking that I have a little bit weight in my arms and thighs. So do I also come in this category? Yes, you do. You will be considered as a spoon, which is a part of pear shape. Rani Mukherjee, Shakira, Beyonce, they all come in the pear shape category the inverted triangle or the strawberry shape. When you have a broad shoulder, a slim waist and a small flat hips with a toned legs, you come in the inverted triangle category. You have a little difference between your hip proportion and waist. Angelina Jolie, Catherine Zeta, Sonam Kapoor, they come in inverted triangle. The diamond shape. When your waist is the broadest and you have rounded almost equal bust and hips you are called the diamond shape we generally see this in our pregnancy when we put on a lot of weight in our midsection than our bust and hips the apple shape when your bust is big fullness in the middle with rounded big hips yet good legs then you are an apple shape. Kate Winslet, Vidya Balan, Adele, they all come in the apple shape. Now comes the hourglass. There are two distinction of hourglass, the neat hourglass and the full hourglass. In the neat hourglass, when your shoulder and bust width and hip width are well proportioned with a sharp defined waist, then you come in this category. Shilpa Shetty, Marlon Monroe are the neat hourglass examples. Remember Marlon, how beautiful her curves looked? 
the full hourglass. When your bust and hip are rounded and broad and are in equal proportion, but you have a small waist, then you come in the full hourglass. Priyanka Chopra, Katrina Kaif, Salma Hayek are some of the examples. The lean column, banana or ruler, whichever name you call it. When you have a small bust, a narrow shoulder and a non-defined small waist, like Kriti Sanan, Anushka Sharma, Nicole Kidman, then you come in a lean column or banana shape. The rectangle. When you have straight defined shoulder and rib cage with straight hips and bottom, not much of a defined kind of an average waist, then you come in the rectangle. Deepika Padukone, Hailey Bieber, they are some of the rectangle body shapes. All these body types fall into three major categories, the ectomorph, endomorph and mesomorph. American psychologist William Herbert Sheldon in the 1940s coined these terms. Interestingly, most people are a combination of these body types to some degree or the other. Rather than fitting strictly into one category, we all are a combination of either ectomorph or endomorph, mesomorph or endomorph or vice versa. Over the years, our natural body type may change because of various reasons. It can be food, environment, pregnancy, stress or any health reasons. But you can change your body type with your lifestyle changes. So it is good to stay updated. It is important to remember no one body type is better than the other. Now since we have come to know the eight major category, let's start measuring ourselves. Stand in front of the mirror, wear as little as possible because you might not get a clearer picture of your curves if you are fully clothed. Check the shape of your torso, waist and hip line and check which part is the narrowest and which part is the broadest. Jot down all the measurements. While checking your body parts, you also need to examine the parts that are straight and the ones which is more curvier. While doing so, make a note of the best assets and the problem areas. Remember Maya Sarabhai from the famous comedy series Sarabhai vs. Sarabhai? Though she wore simple yet beautiful cotton saris, she used to flaunt her shoulder with her off-shoulder blouses. More than the Ikkats and the Maheshwaris, her off-shoulder attracted the most attention of the viewers. That is the power of flaunting your best assets. When you know what looks best on you, helps you to conceal those problematic areas and flaunt the ones that you are most confident about. In my upcoming episodes, I will discuss each body shape and provide fashion tips tailored to each shape, helping you enhance your elegance and beauty. We will cover not only the Western attire, but also explore Indian ethnic wear. But let me remind you, these are all guidelines. They are not strict rules to be followed. As we come to the end of today's episode, once again I would like to remind each one of you that understanding your body type is like unlocking the secret to dressing with confidence and style. Thank you for listening. If you liked what you heard, then please follow my channel where I bring you more valuable insights of fashion. For even deeper understanding, follow my blog where I provide you with comprehensive solutions accompanied by relevant images. Make it incredibly simple for you to understand and recall. The link has been provided in the description box. I encourage you to share any challenges or questions you have about fashion. I would be delighted to address them on my podcast. Join me next week for tips and tricks on achieving an effortlessly chic appearance in no time. Till then, stay confident, stay stylish and keep celebrating the incredible canvas that is your body. Music